Get the bleep button ready. Holy f***ing sh**. Jesus Christ. Chicago is famous for a lot of things. One of them is the classic Italian beef sandwich that we're gonna try really hard not to F up. Which, because I'm doing it in a pressure cooker, is already effing it up. Ugh. The real one is beef cooked nicely, sliced in the bread. It's not shredded. But come on, I'm, I'm just trying to shorten the process for you. Do you want to eat well now or eat better four hours from now? Max. Better now. Chance. Give it to me now. That's give it to me now. By the way, what the fuck does Chicago know about good food? I'm <laughs> a deep dish pizza. <laughs> oh, ah, by the way, the, the comments of my son are not mine. Max has a thing about deep dish pizza. He does not understand it, like at all. To each his own. You say tomato, I say, t well, I'd say tomato too. Hmm, that's not gonna work. Whatever it is, we can agree to disagree, right Max? Yes. I don't want people in Chicago hating you because they don't hate me, because I like deep dish pizza. Chicago. So, um, it's pretty simple. There's a little searing involved. Everything goes in, you hit the button, comes out. Psh, you know whose uncle it is then. This, ladies and gentlemen, is a, a few pounds of chuck that I will just do this to. It's a little oil, little oil, little oil. I'll season it uh, quite generously with salt and pepper all the way around. Just cut the big chunks. Doesn't really matter because it's gonna get shredded. Sorry, Chicago. And into the pressure cooker we go. A little extra oil, shimmering. And that means you know the pot is hot. And in our pieces go. And I really don't want to drag the temperature of the pot down too much, so I'll do this in two batches. Our goal now is searing, which in addition to adding color, for sure is going to add some flavor. So let it happen. And when they start looking like that, nice. Turn them over to the other side. Try and get all the way around. Take them out. Do the other batch. And when your final pieces are done, here's what we're going to do. We're going to bring the other kids back, fling them in. Put a little splotch of oil in the center. Add a little garlic. That's about four cloves. Let it get fragrant. It's lovely. Now we're gonna add about two and a half cups of beef broth. All in. And now our seasonings. And they will consist of dried oregano, dried basil. I'm doing about a teaspoon of each. Garlic powder, which by the way is not garlic salt. It's a different thing. Onion powder, paprika, Fine, I did smoked paprika, I just love it. And uh, about a half a teaspoon of red pepper flakes. We mix this. So all the seasonings are in this liquid, that's what we want. And yes, I forgot, a good pinch of kosher salt and fresh ground pepper, because we haven't done that yet. One more little mix, and then we put our lid on. We make sure we're on sealing, not venting. We set it for high pressure and give it five zero minutes. That's 50 minutes. In the meantime, we really only have one thing to do. The Italian beef is almost ready. It's just finishing its natural release. I wanna do one thing before it comes out. This is giardinera. It's an Italian pickled vegetable mix. And I love it, I think it's really great in this, but this particular brand, I don't like the size of them. I want the pieces smaller. So let's take some out. And we'll just strain it in this little baby colander. But try and get a little bit of everything. We don't want all this liquid going into our sandwich. So when it's been pretty dried off, put it on here. We're gonna give it a rough chop, like this. Come on, everybody. Oh, hear the crunching. I love it. We make this for one of our restaurants, and it's in this smaller form because it just works better. There we go. Perfecto. We have a little deli, we'll put it in. Now we can finish the release of the pressure. This is a bowl of miso sesame shrimp and bacon ramen that I made with my own two hands and it came from HelloFresh and it is damn delicious. HelloFresh has been a supporter of this channel for a long time and we love them for it. Not because of their obvious support, but because of the quality of the meal kits that they deliver that are easy, fast to put together, take stress away from you, put time back in your pocket because you're not at the store. But when you can get food like this made by your own two hands in a snap of your fingers, why wouldn't you do it? There's a reason they're the number one meal kit in the country. You get a weekly selection of 30 plus 
recipes. You want keto, they've got it. You want vegetarian, they've got it. You want meat heavy, they've got that too. You get gorgeous pictures, you get fabulous directions, and you get all the things needed to make the meal. HelloFresh is the first carbon neutral meal kit company and nearly all its packaging is, recyc is recyclable, like this. Let me recap. You're saving time. You're saving money. You want to be fit. You want to eat wholesome food. They can accommodate you there. What are you going to do? You're going to go to HelloFresh.com and use my code STCG65 to get 65% off and free shipping. That's HelloFresh.com. Don't forget, use my code STCG65. You're going to get 65% off plus free shipping. You can't beat a deal like that, so don't because once you sign up, you get a delivery, you can do this. And we vent. It's almost done. That 15 minutes did it by itself perfectly. And there we are. Let's open. And look. Still bubbling. Oh, and the smell. Oh, mama mia. Let's see how we've done. We take a piece and... Oh, I'd say that was right. Now again, I said this in the beginning. People aren't going to like the fact that uh, I am shredding this. People want it sliced. Well, people can do what people want to do. So here's how this is going to go down. I'm just going to shred right here in the pot. Magnificent. Break this up. Great. Okay. Let me get one thing happening. I want to take some of this liquid out. And put it in here. You've heard of a French dip. Well, this is kind of an Italian dip. So what we do is we take this. You're a Canadian dip. <laughs> I am a Canadian dip. All right. Get your roll. You want some decent crunch to it. And rather... Fly. And rather than do the side thing for this, I prefer this. I prefer the, uh, the, the, the lobster roll cut. Open it up. Now, watch how simple this is. We get some of this gorgeous beef. Oh, mamma mia. We put it in here. A little bit more. That's beautiful. It sits down. And now, throw some of the jardinier on top. Like that. A little push. And there you go. There you have it. Your gorgeous Italian beef. But here's how you eat this thing. In some proper Italian beef shops, this whole thing would get dunked in this liquid. But that's not what we're doing. We're just going to go like that. Just to moisten up that end. And now, check out this bite. Now it's glistening. Now it's dripping. Now it's ready to be absolutely loved and consumed. Get the bleep button ready. <laughs> Fucking shit. <laughs> Christ. <laughs> no, that's not going to go in. This is insane. It is insanely delicious. And what? Zero to this in what was it, an hour and a quarter? As opposed to two, three times that if you're going to go the other way. Don't feel bad about it being shredded. Feel good about it being delicious. Thanks for hanging out. We'd love you to subscribe. And if you subscribe, and also go to shopstcg.com, sign up for email and SMS alerts. You could win a clean Sam the Cooking Guy 7-inch Nakiri knife. Should we give one away, lads? Yes. Yeah. Let's give one away. Today's goes to Gregory Hill. Congratulations, Gregory. We have your info. One will be on its way to you. A new one. A clean one. One in the box. Oh, and by the way, Fuck any French dip you've ever had. I'm just over here living my best life and then you show up and cramp my style. Go ahead.